Good morning loves, welcome to a day in my life as a writer living in Paris. I really wanted to pull back the curtain and share some insights into what it's actually like living in Paris as a full-time self-employed creative. So no matter what day it is, the first thing that I do when I get out of bed every single morning is to write. I write every single day, I try to, no matter what. Before I actually start writing, I like to read poetry because I find that this helps me get into a rhythm and I really like to do this aloud. I have lots of different poetry anthologies and today I'm using the poetry of love. This morning I am working on my substack, but the way that I like to structure my writing is I aim for a 500 word a day word count and I do that every single day and I'm splitting that currently between my substack letter, the simple letter that I write on there and my novel which I'm currently working on. I'm spending probably four days working on Substack writing and then three days working on my novel. Today is a Substack day and I'm currently writing about something that happened last night, actually. My therapist of seven years came out with the phrase, Jess, I think you might be autistic and I'm seeing too many signs to not say anything. So I'm feeling a little bit strange today, but honestly, writing is how I make sense of myself, how I make sense of the world, and how I express myself as well. So that's what's happening this morning. And the way that I like to do it is I just sit in front of my laptop until I have hit that word count. So I don't set any specific timer on there. I give myself as much time and space that I need to get the words out. And sometimes that comes really, really quickly. And sometimes it takes, it takes a lot more work. I also like to have my breakfast while I write, a nice hot cup of tea. I like to light a candle and I always, always listen to classical music. Classical Chill Out on Spotify is my favorite playlist. Once I'm finished writing and I've got my daily word count, I always work through my morning routine, which is to meditate, journal, and then do a little bit of yoga before having a shower and getting ready for the day. I have got a video on this if you want to watch my morning routine in a little bit more depth. I have partnered with Wild for today's vlog. Wild are a sustainable natural deodorant brand, but they've also started making natural refill shower gels as well that I think you will really love to know about. I've been using Wild for years. I made the switch over to natural deodorant years ago and I haven't looked back since. What I will say about switching to natural deodorant, if this is something that you are into right now or you're looking to do, is that it does take time. I found that it took like 30 days for my body to get rid of all the, all the stuff that non-natural and very synthetic deodorant was you know keeping inside and then after that I most definitely got the 24 hours of freshness that Wild does promise. I love how sustainable they are so I love that you can buy these refill cases they're super super pretty I have the pink one I have it personalized which again just a nice little nice little touch I love that you can have that and then you just buy the refills and the same is true of the shower gel that they've started producing now as well if you want to find out more about wild if it's something that you are interested in I will leave a link in the description for you and you can use my code JRW for 20% off everything at wild if clean beauty is your thing and you're looking to reduce waste in the bathroom then this is definitely a brand you're going to love so this is the time of day when I would do regular work tasks and that can be all sorts of different things. What I've been trying to do lately is batch my days. So I have like a shooting content day, an editing day, a planning day. Today is a blogging day, but I have other 
day-to-day -day things to do as well. So this is when I would do things like emails. I have a Substack letter going out this week that I need to edit and I have to schedule a vlog to go out later in the day because it isn't just writing that I do. I also have an Instagram post that I need to plan and write a caption for. place one of my favorite places too it's so beautiful in the spring I haven't seen Palais Royal in bloom before wow it's absolutely stunning uh, it's roasting hot by the way <laughs> I've definitely overdone it with my coat I'm wondering if coat season is officially over which is which is great very very happy about that um, yeah I'm not I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this autistic thing. I feel really strange. Had a really intense night last night. I asked you on Instagram this morning, but I'm gonna ask you again because I do feel really strange and lonely with it. I'm wondering, like, have you or has anyone that you know had a diagnosis of neurodivergence as an adult? If yes, and you're happy to share, like I'd, I really would like to hear stories and just, yeah, feel a little bit less alone, I think, because I'm not really sure what to do with this. I don't really know if I want to do anything with it. I don't, I don't really know, but I'm very, very curious. So if you would like to share, I would love to hear. But autism aside, this is the kind of thing that I really like to do in the afternoons, usually once I've done those very typical desk type jobs and it has taken me so long to realize that getting out um, people watching looking for stories noticing things paying attention giving myself time to daydream to be inspired come up with ideas is as important if not more important than the actual writing if i don't do this stuff the rest just doesn't flow and that would be my advice actually to anyone who wants to be more creative is to create the conditions for creativity to exist and to flow. And it's often the stuff that you feel really guilty about doing things like this in, uh, in the afternoon, but it's essential. It is absolutely essential. So here we are enjoying it. And I know that not everyone lives in Paris and can come to places like this. I understand that, but just, you know, getting out in nature, going to local galleries, museums, wandering around, sitting at home, staring out the window, all of it works, any of it, but it's very, 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 very important. It is for me um, and creative friends that I have, they say the same too.
I like to keep super, super relaxed and cozy, ideally. If I'm not doing anything like going out, having dinner with friends, something like that, I'm at home alone. I usually, nine times out of 10, will eat at home as opposed to out and about. Tonight is a very typical evening cooking at home, lots of reading and maybe watching a film as well. I hope you've enjoyed spending the day together and seeing what a day in the life of a writer living in Paris actually looks like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.